So you died at Bandos. What a shame. Maybe it was on an Ultimate Iron Man account. That sucks. I'm not exactly sure how you did it, but maybe the War God himself utterly destroyed you. Or maybe Jagex just destroyed your hopes and dreams with those sweet, sweet disconnections. Either way, I'm here to help you get your items back on your Ultimate Iron Man account ASAP, and as far as I know, the quickest way possible. Enjoy. So before this video gets started, I'd like to say that Settled is also making a video like this one. If you'd like to check out his channel, be sure to click the annotation, except his is a bit different. He will be doing how to get back to Zamrak if you die on an Ultimate Iron Man. Very useful, pretty much, you know, why not? Just go click on it, go give him a like, be a good person, and subscribe. He's pretty much just like me. He uploads pretty much weekly uh, progress videos and all that jazz. So if you would like, subscribe, like, comment, you know, whatever. Go check him out. I will mention him at the end of the video, by the way. All right, so Dragonhide, let's just get off with this. It is not a smart thing to take when starting out. Uh, if you happen to be at Sir Doman and you have, of course, like Sir Doman Dragonhide and Zamrak Dehyde, then in that purpose, it would be okay. But when you're doing Bandos, it's not great to take since you could take other items that are untradeable, which if you happen to die would be smarter since you keep untradeables on death. And in that case, it's way easier to get back since you don't have to worry about the items that you have to get, the god items. Um, in this video, though, we will be focusing on if, let's say you had no untradeable items and all those tradable God Wars dungeon items that you had are on the ground in God Wars dungeon, your inventory is completely empty and you have to work from there to get to Bandos. Don't worry, I got you covered and um, I've died at Bandos like five times or so. I've gotten back pretty much on time every time, so you're basically good to go. One thing that I want to stress with this though is if you're doing God Wars dungeon, I highly, highly recommend that you only have about 28 items in your looting bag and your normal inventory, including items that you wear. It just makes it so much easier to get back and get your items. If you happen to have to take two trips to get your items, you might have to sacrifice something. I'm not sure how this method works if you have to get like two trips of uh, items. So be very wary of that. Um, if you have more than 28 items, you might be risking a little bit. If you have 28 items or less, you're good to go. You're going to get everything back. Don't worry about it. So, I died at Zora to emulate me dying at Bandos. No, I'm not actually going to die at Bandos. I'm just going to show you how to get there, how to get kill count items, and so on. Um, pretty easy to get back, I might, I might add. So, let's get to it. You died at Bandos. Let's work from there. Okay, so we're here. All of our stuff is at Bandos. What do we do? I have nothing in my inventory. There's no possible way I could get back in an hour, but there is. Very simple way to do this is to, of course, teleport to Nightmare Zone. After you are in Nightmare Zone, you're going to have to come over here to your coffer. Also, I have a timer going right now for about an hour. We are going to withdraw 100k. Now that we are done withdrawing that, we're going to go up to the Wizards Guild here and purchase a bunch of runes. Runes consisting of fire, law, air, earth, and maybe a few others if you are missing some house tellies. But most of my uh, teleports are in my house, so obviously I can use that to my advantage. So we'll buy about 20 here just to be a bit safe. We'll buy 20 air runes, 20 earth runes. Also, we got water runes here. We'll buy a couple of those. And yeah, we're good to go. So we're going to teleport teleport home first. Or teleport to Lumbridge, either one. Lumbridge would probably save you a little bit of time. And um, we're going to go to our cape rack here. And if you happen to have your Zamorak cape in your uh, cape rack... Awesome, you can actually take that right there. That's one item down. But now we need a Bandos item. Where the hell do we get that? Well, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but it is sure as hell worth it to get your items back. And um, that is just buying the Lunar Staff in this uh, nice little shop here. Perdu has got us. Now, I just buy it like that, and I pretty much just run all the way over to the Fairy Ring over here, which I will speed up now.
And once we reach this fairy ring here, we are going to go to ALP. This will teleport us to the lighthouse, and I, I like the best way to remember this is Adam Lynn's place, let's be honest here. He's a lighthouse. So we're going to go up these stairs here and climb up, and boom, we are currently here with Jussic, and we can buy our Bandos book. Very easy. Uh, now the only other thing that we really need is food. Um, since we used our minigame teleport previously, uh, it is in our best interest to just teleport to Falador, run up, and get some cheese potatoes. So let's do that right now. So depending on your level, I would grab some defense potions if you do need. If you're like 99 defense, really not needed at all. If you're 90 plus defense, still not really needed at all. And also the food here, grab as much as you think you will need. Uh, if you're around 90 defense, 10 food should do you just fine. I like to take 10 potatoes and 15 bass or base, whatever the hell you want to call it. And um, I think I'm basically good to go here. Now, I actually forgot to buy fire runes at the Wizards Guild, so my bad there, but that won't hurt us too much on the time thing. Uh, we are going to go to Varrock now and go and buy a Varrock, or a Varrock staff, a uh, fire staff real quick, and then we can teleport to Trollheim. So, very easy. Obviously, once you teleport to Trollheim, there are trolls that will attack you over here. You're going to have to use some prayer here. And, uh, yeah, just going to have to bite the bullet, use it. Why not? We're not going to use too much when we're collecting our items anyways. After you got past the trolls, there will be wolves over here, although I'm pretty sure you do know this. Um, they will do you quite a bit of damage without armor, so it's in your best interest to not try and flick these and just go with the prayers and just use them up. Now, once you get over here and these dogs are done attacking you, best interest to pray magic here and go up. This guy almost 100% of the time usually attacks you. A lot of the time you'll get this archer right here, but... Uh, the archer doesn't do too much damage. Now, it's just a matter of getting the 40 kill count for our items. So let's get to it. It's better to use the lunar staff to get the kill count, by the way. Okay, so there is 40 kill count. We can now go and use our hammer. Make sure that you have picked this up from the goblins. Uh, there is definitely like a 100% chance you're getting this hammer in 100 kills, or in 40 kills, my bad. Uh, so don't worry about that. And yeah, here we are with, I'm not sure how many minutes to spare, but there's definitely quite a few minutes to spare. It only took me about 16 minutes to get here, I believe. And basically, you go in, you get your items. Obviously, the smart way to do this is to go in, eat while you pick up items, and be sure to pick up your Fury or Glory. Be sure to pick up your Dragon Boots. Any type of armor that you would have, be sure to pick that up first. Now, like I said, my items are at Zora, so I'm not going to go in here. Just showing you as a guide. Uh, obviously, build up from this, work on it. And obviously, if you die at Bandos a couple of times, after those couple of times, it'll get to the point where you're pretty much used to dying and... Uh, You'll know how to get back very easily, and it's not much of a worry. Anyways, guys, that'll be pretty much all for this video, but let's say you want to do Zamorak. I personally will not be posting a how to get back to Zamorak, God Wars Dungeon, after death, but my boy Settled, of course, you can visit him at youtube.com slash settled, I think it is. I'll put the correct link in the, uh, in the video. Uh, be sure to go check him out. Also, he's in the description, by the way. And he will be uploading a video like this one to YouTube around the same hour as this one. And uh, basically telling you how to get back to Zamorak God Wars Dungeon 
in a quick amount of time. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out his channel and that video. Give it a like. Give this video a like. If you dislike both of our videos, then go for it. Tell us why you don't like them in the comments. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next clip.